Good evening, my name is John Mons, and I am the Lib Libertarian nominee for governor. And I want to thank you for hanging in with us. I know it's been a long day, but uh, to tell you a little bit about myself, I'm a fifth generation Georgian, and my family's been here for over 140 years. I've been very involved in the community, and what I'd like to do is share a vision, my vision for Georgia, a better Georgia, with the voters and give them a choice that they can feel good about. You shouldn't go to the voting booth and feel you have to choose the lesser of two evils or hold your nose and vote. You should definitely vote for somebody that you believe in and that holds your values. Uh, as far as the local community, well, a little bit of my background. I graduated Morehouse College where I got a degree in banking and finance. Uh, married to Kathleen Mons. I have four wonderful children. Uh, I live in Cairo, Georgia. Can't forget that. So I'm a little bit south of of Doherty County here, but my wife does work in Albany. She's a professor at Albany State University. And the difference between my candidacy and all the other candidates is I talk about individual rights. You have to tie the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution, because what that does, before you can tell what government should do, you should know what their limits are. And if you don't know the limits, they can propose to do anything. So we have to respect the individual rights of the Constitution and the Declaration tied together. Thank you. Well, you know the drill. Uh, does uh, government operate best when it operates openly? Um, what uh, is your track record on, uh, on uh, ensuring government transparency, and what do you propose specifically to do to improve citizens' access to government? Uh, short answer, transparency, does it Work best when government's open? Yes, it does. But what have I done? Uh, part of my community involvement is working with the NAACP down in Grady County, Grady County, where I was the, the former uh, branch president. And part of what, we, what I had to do as a member of that organization is use the Open Records Act. We already have statutes and laws on the books that will hold our government accountable. As citizens, though, we have to use those laws. So that's how... I personally have uh, ensured to go out and hold government accountable, make sure they're transparent in, in their dealings with the citizens. And our second question is, uh, after uh, Governor Perdue's been in office eight years, uh, uh, how would your approach to the office compare to his? Once again, you have to tie it to individual rights and liberties. And I don't think either of the other parties, whether it's Purdue or his prede predecessor, uh, I think that's where they got it wrong. And my approach and my leadership is one, the ability to work on both sides of the aisle. As a libertarian, you know, there's certain things that I agree with, with the Republicans on, some with the Democrats, but I can work with anybody as long as they're not usurping the rights of the people and using government as a tool to decrease the amount of freedom we have in this country. We can't have a free country without free people. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. All right, that's our final candidate of the evening. I encourage